Welcome to Google Mobile Sites Exam 2017 Answers Given by Me. You can follow me on blog. My blog name is baburajdevi.blogspot.com and you also follow me on LinkedIn. To discover and prioritize landing pages for potential improvements to the user's design, you should check the landing page report focusing on bounce rate metric which components often account for most of the downloaded bytes on a web page images before introducing a mobile site design best practice to your clients you should examine their existing mobile sites which metric is affected by slow page speed conversion rate will slow down when using a chrome development tools what should you limit the connectivity to regular 3g the first step to optimize the critical rendering path is to analyze and characterize your critical path number of resources bytes and length which is an example of unnecessary resources negatively impacting the user's experience a photo carousel on the home page that allows the visitor to preview multiple photos with a quick click currently google optimize does not currently allows you to do a heat map analysis to better understand to users behavior on your site the render tree contains a visible content only which allows for an efficient font reuse between pages revalidation token why can an inter intermittently available mobile network results in a poor experience some assets might not be loaded how do you prioritize the optimization of a mobile site for browser versions or screen resolution look for the highest number of sessions and lowest conversion rates or highest bounce rates How many times per second do most devices refresh their screens? 60 seconds. According to Google poll, what is the top frustration when user browses the website on their mobile device? Waiting for the slow page to load is the most frustrating act. for each font on your website you should minimize the number of used variants what does variant a in the ab testing usually represents the original version of the web page represents the variant a a minimum at minimum what page weight should you be aiming for less than 1 mb is a uh, desirable why are push notifications important for advertisers because they deliver timely updates to the users they give users the opportunity to reengage with content they are interested in the information they deliver can be acted on immediately which of the following is not a best practice to optimize form on mobile showing labels inside the form feels for the convenience is not a best practice true or false ab testing allows you to test two or more elements on the site to understand their effects on each other that is false because ab testing is only confined to two elements 
it should it's not going to deal with two, more than two elements what's the fastest and the best optimized resource the one not sent which is not a part of amp inline css is not a accelerated mobile amp true or false you can experiment with google analytics feature by using the google merchant store demo account that's true we can do or we can use google merchandise store demo account which is not true about a responsive sites responsive sites usually have a faster load time versus separate sites which is not true which can be sacrificed to reduce the file size of an image is a quality to optimize for speed you shouldn't use too many web fonts and you should minimize the number of variants which most accurately describe the purpose of compression minimize the file sizes mobile sites have a specific functionality for mobile devices amp lays out the pages without waiting for the resources to load when referring to a critical rendering path in a site's performance a critical resource is a resource that could block initial display of the page which of these features is part of a progressive web app add to home screen is a feature of progressive web app true or false javascript can block dom constructions unless explicitly declared as a sync true which of the following describes the payment request api correctly it bypasses the checkout form true or false using a mix of desktop and mobile optimized pages on mobile sites improves the user experience since some users are more familiar with the desktop version of the site false which of the following is not true about the site search experience on mobile sites comprehensive search results are better than concise results concise results to deliver the fastest possible time to first render you should minimize the number of critical resources the resources with the responses that are identical for all the users are great candidates to be cached by cdn identical true or false images should never change when rotating a device screen or between different device sizes it is false because it will change the image size the app shell helps with making a transition between pages very faster what is a tool that you can use to emulate and simulate a site that experiencing the poor or unreliable connectivity webpagetest.org is a tool which can emulate and simulate a site experiencing a poor or unreal unreliable connectivity why do css at imports harm the performance because uh, at import loads the files efficiently than a link at a minimum what speed index core should be aiming for 
less than 5000 if you are in an animation like scrolling you should ideally be looking to keep your javascript to something in the region of 3 milliseconds to 4 milliseconds how does amp work keeps all third party javascript out of the critical path does not let the extension mechanisms block the rendering allows only um, asynchronous scripts in the layout step the browser computes the size and position of render tree elements keeping css independent of html allows us to treat the content and design as a separate concerns here content and design as a separate concerns we have to use which is the true about call to action usage on mobile home pages a call to action should be prominent on the visible area of the mobile home page which changes to geometric properties affect the layout height top width all of them which of the following reports in Google Analytics helps you to identify the leakages from the conversion funnel check out behavior analysis helps you to know the leakages some users aren't comfortable converting on their mobile devices what could be an action you can take to improve their experience offering secondary call to action buttons like social sharing image information such as location and the camera description can often be deleted to reduce the image sizes this type of information is called metadata before the browser can render a page it needs to construct the DOM and CSS home trees the research shows that mobile users expect to tap the logo at the top of the mobile page to take them back to the home page a progressive web app works even with unreliable network through service workers which of the following statement is true about the mobile experience of users it's important to use call to action buttons to keep the users in the same browser window which of the following describes an app shell it provides fast first impression gracefully transitioning to a fully loaded page why did Facebook create 2G Tuesday to understand how people on 2G use their product in which of the following situations can a high bounce rate be interpreted as good metric campaign landing page brings the users to a page where the company promotes their phone number to receive calls only in those cases um, bounce rate is considered uh, to be uh, the positive metric what is a valid event for a service worker to emit when it is registered install is a valid event which describes how a service worker operates it runs a programmable network proxy a good notification is relevant it should be relevant then only called as a good notification how can you make the job simpler for the web browsers 
change the selector to a clause which is a benefit of a mobile site over an app for businesses shorter development timelines true or false to instruct the browser to use the default device width you should use meta name viewport content equals width equals device width false now you can see the score we have scored a uh, 65 out of 65 that is 100 percent so if you like our video please subscribe uh, to our youtube channel uh, if you have any questions regarding google fundamental exams or if you are looking for any sort of pro project assistance in google adwords please contact me via email my email id is dbaburatstar at gmail.com thank you for watching have a wonderful day uh,